to solve a complex equation like this for x, we first want to group our like terms on each side of the equation. On the left, 7x and 2x are like terms, and when I add them together, 7 plus 2 is equal to 9x. Then I'm going to put together my 8, and notice this is a minus 5, so I have to do 8 take away 5. So altogether, my left side simplifies to 9x plus 3. On the right side, 3x plus 2x gives me 5x, and 10 minus 27 is going to be minus 17. So this is going to be 5x plus negative 17, or equivalently 5x minus 17. Now that I have combined like terms and simplified things a little bit, I can group all my x's on one side of the equation by subtracting 5x from both sides of the equation. Remember, anything I can do to one side of the equation, I can do to the other. On the right, my 5x and negative 5x cancel, and on the left, I'm left with simply 4x. Now I can group my constant terms, my non-variable terms, on the other side of the equation by subtracting 3 from both sides. I want to get rid of it on the left. 3 minus 3 cancels out. And on the other side, I have negative 17 minus 3, which leaves me with negative 20. If I know that 4 times x is equal to negative 20, a simple division will give me the answer. Dividing by 4 on each side is going to have the effect of getting x alone. 4 over 4 is equal to 1, or equivalently, just 1x. And on the other side, negative 20 divided by 4 is equal to negative 5. Therefore, for my original equation to be true, x must equal negative 5. Very quickly again, my steps were to combine like terms on each side, get the x terms on one side of the equation, the constant terms on the other, and in this case, my final step was to perform a division on both sides to ultimately get the x by itself. Hope that helped. Thank you.